Hi, my name is Vincent, and today I want to take a look at a problem involving Rolle's theorem. So we have verify Rolle's theorem for f of x equals sine of 2x on the interval from 0 to pi. So for a problem like this, I think a lot of students go wrong because they have trouble understanding what the actual theorem means. So for Rolle's theorem, we need to show three conditions are true. We need our function to be continuous on a closed interval, differentiable on the open interval, and we need the function to be equal at its endpoints. And if, three, if these three conditions are met, then that guarantees that we could find a point where the slope of our function is zero or where the derivative is equal to zero. But those words on their own are very confusing. So my best piece of advice would be to practice drawing the theorems out. And in this case, we're gonna to try to draw out Rolle's theorem. So we're gonna sketch the function from zero to pi. So we could count by pi over fours, which is gonna make the middle pi over two. The first notch here is gonna be pi over four. And then this one would be three pi over four. And if we plug in these x values into the function, sine of zero is going to give us zero. If we plug in pi over four, that's gonna give us sine of pi over two, which is equal to one. Sine of pi over two, if we plug in pi over two, that's gonna give us pi over two times two, which will give us sine of pi, which is zero. If we plug in three pi over four, we're gonna get sine of three pi over two, which is gonna drop this down to negative one. And if we plug in pi, sine of two pi is zero. So sketching this gives us the function sine of 2x from 0 to pi. And right away, before we do any heavy lifting with the calculus, we're trying to find points between 0 and pi where the derivative is equal to 0 or where the slope is 0. And right away, these two values should jump out. At pi over 4, the slope is 0. And at 3 pi over 4, the slope is 0. But let's say this is a test setting and you have to show work. This is where we're going to apply the theorem. The first two conditions are very easy. We're just showing that this function is continuous on the closed interval and differentiable on the open interval. And for a function like this, we could simply state it. The next thing we should show here is that the function is equal at its endpoints. So all we have to do is we're going to plug in zero to the function, which is going to give us sine of zero, which is equal to zero. And we're going to have f of pi, if we plug in, it's going to give us sine of two pi. And this is also equal to zero. So since the three conditions are met, the function is continuous on the closed interval, differentiable on the open interval, and the function is equal at the endpoints of the interval, this tells us that the conclusion of Rolle's theorem has to apply here. But to verify that Rolle's theorem applies here, we're gonna find the derivative of our function. So we're gonna use chain rule, and the derivative of sine of 2x is gonna give us cosine of 2x times the derivative of the inside is two. So this tells us the derivative is two cosine 2x. So the next step here is to set the derivative equal to zero. So we're gonna find here f prime of x equals zero when, and if we solve this out, we're trying to find when is two cosine two x equal to zero. So we could simplify this a bit by dividing both sides by two, and we're gonna have cosine of two x is equal to zero. Now to solve this, we wanna consider the places where cosine is equal to zero. So if we consider these two locations, cosine at pi over two is equal to zero, and cosine of three pi over two is equal to zero, this is gonna help us solve for our x values. Now the thing is, this is where the sketch is kinda of helping us, it's kinda of like a chess match, it's helping us look ahead. The goal is to show that it's gonna be at x equals pi over four and three pi over four. And this is because we have to stay between zero and pi. There are infinite values where the derivative is zero, but we only care about the ones between zero and pi. So if we set the inside equal to pi over two, we're gonna have two x equals pi over two. And we can multiply both sides by a half. 
And this tells us the first value is x equals pi over 4. But we're going to find all the values where this is true. So to show algebraically that our next value is 3 pi over 4, we're going to set the inside of our derivative equal to 3 pi over 2. So we have one solution here, but we set 2x, 2x equal to 3 pi over 2. And to solve this equation, we multiply both sides by a half. And this gives us x equals 3 pi over 4. So just to summarize what we found here, since the three conditions of Rolle's theorem were met, we're guaranteed to find values between 0 and pi where the derivative is equal to 0. And those two values, x equals pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4, satisfy the conclusion of Rolle's theorem. And it's very important that the values that you find are between the two endpoints. So these values here are good. And once again, they represent the locations where the slope of the function is zero, or we could say where the derivative of the function is zero. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this video on Rolle's theorem. If you found this video helpful, please click like and subscribe below. And thanks for watching.